Well, I think we're about to have our first clutch of snake eggs uh, laid in the zoo. And that is our bull snake, Hannah. Oh my goodness, you have been digging. Look at that, you are covered in dirt. So Hannah was paired with Enzo, our red uh, bull snake, and she is like about to pop. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, there you go. You see how the sides really kind of balloon out? Well, that means those eggs have moved down to the base of the tail, and it seems like when they shift and they see they kind of have hips around their cloaca area, that means those eggs are ready to come out. And over the last 12 hours, not even 12, like maybe it last three hours, she has been digging around and just destroying everything in her enclosure. Like that water was changed an hour ago. And that's because she's trying to find a good place to lay. So she has found what we put in as her lay area, which is a nice cork half or cork, half of a cork round and uh, full with sphagnum moss. She found it. So now girl, you just have to go back in and lay those eggies. <laughs> Remember this huge bag of perlite we bought last year thinking we'd need it all? And yeah. then we had like two clutches and total. And nobody gave us eggs? Yeah. Well, now we're going through it yeah. this year. We get to use it this year. Yeah. So we're just gonna put in our perlite. And we also uh, have a very nice scoop. It's an isopod container. Yeah, I wonder how we got that. I don't know. Now the question is, <laughs> will Emily overfill this perlite like she did the last two? Maybe, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with that much. <coughs> Men sneeze. Oh. My gosh, it's so, so dusty. That's the one downside to perlite. But I mean- Put the water with it right away. Yeah, as soon as you add the water, it's fine. I still think it looks like cottage cheese. It does look like cottage <coughs> cheese, doesn't it? Are you gonna be okay? Oh my gosh, it's really dusty. Like there is a woof, a, a waft of perlite dust that came out. Like you can first see one, it. A woof. A woof of perlite dust. That's right. Okay, I think this is a good, good consistency or good ratio. Let's see, we'll test it. We'll do the squeeze test. Will it hold its shape? It does, actually. For the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Looks pretty good. Didn't drip when I did that either. So now we are going to make our little divots and try to separate these eggs. Actually, never mind. I'm going to try to separate the eggs first to see how many of them I can get apart. And I really want to separate the ones that are hidden beneath the others so they don't get too smothered or surrounded by the perlite. So these four, I think we should just put in together. Yeah, I'll just throw those ones straight in. Okay, these are fine because they're all mostly in kind of one, one layer. Here we go, we'll get those eggies nice and nestled in and then these should kind of hit a few down here with the eggs above them so we're gonna try to expose those by removing these we'll see what i can do i mean if you just take this one off and this one off oh i think it'd be fine that then. is a flat layer that's true okay we just have to remove the adhesive that holds them all together oh the peel so satisfying it's like a, a new tv peel like a new electronics peel except more dangerous. You know, I don't know what to describe this adhesive as, but it's, well, I don't even know, a spider web type material? Kind of. It's, or silk, kind of? I'm, <coughs> <coughs> yeah. oh my gosh. Pole. All right, I'm just gonna like feel, cause we're just dying here from this perlite dust. It's almost like 3M, uh, the pull tab, the pull, oh, pull things. Yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Oop, well. Well, that one came loose. That egg came loose. You just get to go there. Yep. You wanted to be separated from no, everybody he else. He didn't like his brothers and sisters. There we go. All right, you're gonna go in here. Then you think just removing this one and we're good? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, we were able to remove the two that were on top of the others. So now everybody can breathe and have enough enough room. So there, we'll nestle them all in. So yeah, we have Getting started. Ready for their naps. This year we decided not to separate each and every every single egg because I mean the adhesive is there for a reason. Granted, we don't need all the eggs to be clumped together because in the wild, I mean they're clumped together to like transfer the heat, but from one end of the clutch to the other, we maintain a steady temperature throughout incubation. However, we don't have to separate every single egg unless they come apart pretty easily and then we can nestle them all in. But when they're glued together as heavily as these bull snake egg eggs are, we essentially just want to make sure that each egg has enough exposure to not get smothered in the perlite or in just dampness in general. So we were able to achieve that I think and now we just need a sharpie so that we can mark the uppermost part of each egg. All right now what kind of theme should we do for yeah. the 
drawings on top. I'm not sure. Oh, you were looking at me the yeah, whole time. Yeah, I was looking at you. Sometimes I just catch the top of your head. It's kind of funny. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, so yeah, in case you're new to the channel, we mark the top part of the egg so in case something happens and they fall or there's some weird disaster, the incubator tips over, who knows? We know what orientation to put them back in. And no, Sharpies don't hurt the babies inside. We do this every year. They're totally fine. We used to do just an X or a line. And but... then just an X or a line on top is boring. So we started to um, expand from there and do little pictures instead of an X or a line. So what theme should we do for these eggs? I'm thinking since she's a bull snake, okay. and earlier today we were talking about the dark side of old McDonald had a farm, I think we should do farm animals. All right, yeah. let's do it. Farm animals it is. Ugh, Hannah, you push so much dirt on your eggs. I need a clean canvas. What farm animal is Emily going to do first? I will draw this. Oh, it's a pig. Old MacDonald had a farm with an oink oink here. That's what I should have done first. <laughs> I swear we know the song. Okay, <laughs> we'll do... I have no idea what that is. A deer? A giraffe? Yep. Giraffes aren't on farm. What farms have you been going to? Oh, Wisconsin has weird farms. Like, you know there's some with a giraffe somewhere. Sure, it's a farm animal. Look, it has spots. So it's a reticulated giraffe. Yep, it sure is. There. Giraffe. All right, I think everybody needs to teach Emily what a, what a farm is. <laughs> um, I mean, there was, she is a bull snake, so cow. Uh, I don't know how to draw a cow upside down. I think you can um, do it. What does the neck of a cow, and what does the head of a cow look like? Is it like that? Yeah. Oh, now it's a horse. Oh, no. No, that's a fat horse if that's a horse. Oh, okay, true. There. Yeah, cow. that's a cow. Good okay. job. Yep. Thank you. I don't know how to draw this upside down, but we'll, we'll see. A duck. <laughs> Close. A chicken. Yep. Hooray. How about this one? An ostrich, because you have some <laughs> weird things that are farm animals. It was supposed to be a goose. Is that a goose? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can see that being a goose. I tried to do a weird cheek thing like Canada geese have, but it's supposed to be white, not black, so it didn't work out. We, we have the buffalo farms near us. That's true. Good luck drawing a buffalo if you can't draw a cow. Yeah, I don't know how to draw a buffalo. Do they have udders? I mean, I think all mammals have udders, don't they? Sure. Except for the ones that sweat out the milk? That's gonna be my bull. I mean, Perfect. my bison. Your bison? Yeah, that's my bison. It's not maybe, hunched maybe enough. Maybe we should let you do your weird, like, giraffe <laughs> farm animals. Uh, there's this farm near us. I think I, along with the entire audience, <laughs> is speechless on what that is. <laughs> it's an ostrich. Oh. <laughs> it looks a lot like your goose. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's an, it has a longer neck. It's an, oh wait. Now, oh, there you go. Now it's oh. an emu. Oh, it's an ostrich. Yeah. No, it's an emu. It has a furry neck. Oh, it's an <laughs> emu. Yep. Not emu, remember. Nope. They Paul, don't moo. Paul taught us, and he made it very clear. Whenever we said emu, he was like, no, no, no. Emus don't moo. Yes. It's an emu. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, so Paul. apparently the little hang-ups that Australians have. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Paul from Custom <laughs> Reptile Habitats, for teaching us how to say emu. Uh, I just realized I've been drawing over. Well, I mean, at least we have the up, not the top most part, like the, the actual point, but we have the upper half. Because yeah, these I mean, animals are a little bit bigger than I thought they would be. If this falls off, we're going to know. Oh, they're all connected. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, and we're I mean, fine. These ones are pretty, these ones are good. I'm like, you haven't done those. Okay, sweet. Yeah. So okay. this one, yeah. we'll do a sheep. That's just a cloud with legs, right? There's Perfect. a sheep. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful sheep? Bah. <laughs> now I'm out of farm animals. I can't think of anything else. Um, I mean, you about, can do quail or pheasants. How about this animal? Uh-oh, how do I do the top part? I know what it is. It goes... <laughs> Yep. There. Oh my gosh, I'm like, oh, he's like splayed out, like sitting. <laughs> it's a turkey with splayed legs. Um, poor Hannah. This is like a disgrace to her it eggs. It is. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. funny. I need two more farm animals. Common farm elephant. Oh yeah, there are those, that's true. There's elephant farms out there. I'm glad you have to do the drawing on these eggs. I will say that. We could change No, them. no. There. That's, that's a perfect elephant. An elephant. And then for the last one, me. You should draw a zebra. Good luck. Nope, it's all you. Do one nope. of the animals. You Just want one. it to be like a blob. I'm not going to be able to do that. You can do it. One animal. Zebra. You got it. I can't even draw a dog. <laughs> yeah, um, and I have to draw them upside down. If you go from this side, since you're right-handed, yeah. I could go like this. Hooray, Ed's going to draw a zebra. I don't even know what a zebra looks like. Just do it's a horse like, with stripes. It's like that. 
And then... You can do it. That... that. <laughs> You're supposed to draw a zebra, not an eel. Shoo. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> and then it kind of goes up like that. Oh, there and you over. go. Nice. And then the most important part. <laughs> Wait, they, that. they have ear. pointed ears. Yes. Yeah, and then an eye. And oh, then that. nice. There and you go. I'll do that. You pulled it together there and then yeah, that. The one, worst yep. drawing. That's the only time I'm ever drawing a thing on an egg. That's beautiful. Even it your, looks Your just worst like... looking one right there <laughs> looks better than my zebra. I love your zebra. I think that is perfect. That's no. probably my favorite egg in this clutch now. Oh, I was just going to die. <laughs> Well, I guess that about wraps up our uh, clutch. So we're going to add our lid and the date. I just realized we didn't even use the bronze marker I brought. Oh, yeah, we brought that too. Well, here, we'll use it for this. It's 5-7. It's Haley's birthday today. Happy yep. birthday, Happy Haley. Happy birthday, Haley. And this was Hannah and Enzo. Oh, I just realized Hannah is an, uh, is it an anagram. I think anagram is when you spell a word you make a word out of like a... The letters? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, give me a second. All right, I'm gonna look really smart now, and I didn't look this up on the internet. A palindrome. Palindrome. I didn't realize that. Word of the day, palindrome. Okay. Why yep. isn't palindrome spelled backwards the same way? Oh, yeah, palindrome forward. isn't it a palindrome. No. It really should be. You're right. All right. All right, well, that's done. Who do you think is going to lay next for Ooh. our breeders? Um... Because I think I'm gonna put my bet on Still Naughty. Because she's a good she, one. Like, if you take a look, she has a lay oh, box. Oh, she's hello. In her lay box. She are doesn't you? have eggs right now, does she? You're not laying right now, are you? Uh, no, but she's getting she's, close. She's not descended yet, though. No, so she's not still descended. got over a day. Yep. All right, so maybe not. I'm gonna go with Jester. Yep, the male. He's gonna breed. Yeah. He's gonna give us eggs next. I'm sure he'll lay eggs. Sadly, guys, check this out. Wanted to show you this too. Pastel 100% het toffee waffle. Did she slug out on us? She slugged out. Really? Slug, slug, Aww. slug. There's more in here. Oh, she's over there. She got oh, them all out. You little... Well, that's probably because of the male. Yeah. Slug, 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 slug. Aww. Yeah, so she needs a new male next year for sure. Right, we'll just have to get a toffee belly. Well, she looks good. She got them all out. She did get them all out, so that's the important that's thing. That's the important thing. Yeah, and she ovulated, so we did get some eggs. They just weren't fertilized, unfortunately. Yeah. So I have to clean that out. But yeah, that's an update on her. All right, I'm gonna go with Omnomlet. There's a pre-lay shed in there. Ooh. Yes, there is. And she's in her lay box. Could you be right? You actually, okay, so it's a race between how, Omnomlet. How does she look? You have to see Omnomlet. Ooh, she's got them far down there too. Oh, they that are could far be down tomorrow. There. Oh, you might win this. Don't okay. eat yeah. your babies. We tell you this every time. You didn't Don't have, eat them. She didn't have any last year because she was so embarrassed, I think, about eating her babies. So yeah, this look year, at her. She's like, I'm so bashful. Everyone yeah. knows my dark secret because of you two. <laughs> right? So don't eat them. And we will see, I guess, which one is going to win the race. Still naughty or on Based I don't on know. <laughs> which video comes out or next. <laughs> based on what number we put, like the date. <laughs> oh, that's right. Keep an eye on the date. See if I win with Still Naughty laying first, or if Ed wins with Omnomlet. Or if laying. neither of us win. And or if another else snake it. lays. Yeah, that's true. If anyone else wants to place a different bet, feel free. Maybe you'll win, and yeah. <laughs> neither of us will. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we're going to put those eggs in incubation next. Um, that's got to be getting pretty full. I think it is like. Are we going to have enough for space? I don't know. Oh, wait. I can do two stacks, can't I? Yeah. Ah, we don't even need the other incubator. Oh, we do need the other incubator. Nah. Yeah, we do. Oh, I, Grace, that totally fits. I do have. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. It just pushed it in back. Oh, no. It didn't, it didn't fit. Okay, but can I put two side by side? Can this go sideways here? Oh, oh my gosh, I can. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we don't need it. Yeah, we're incubator. good. Oh, we still have to set up that incubator. This does double our space, though, by turning these... I guess we do want people to be able to watch the eggs incubate in this retail area. Yeah, so. yeah, that's true. We don't want our eggs to be in this messy server room. Look, look at all those eggs. The are looking good. Yeah, they are. And look over here. So oh, many lilies eggs. are looking awesome. That one doesn't look good. That doesn't look like good at all. Yeah, we're just going to take care of that tomorrow, though. Put these in and put them all back in. Awesome. Oh my gosh, there's so many eggs in there. 
eat and there's more to come too. And we are going to end this video like we try to always do with egg videos. Apparently he's squirming today, but we're gonna end with the proud father of the clutch. This is Enzo. He is a red morph, which is a line bred trait with uh, bull snakes. But yeah, he's a beautiful red morph. He is unfortunately deep in shed right now, so he's yeah. not as pretty as he usually is. And I think that's why he's freaking out because he can't really see me. And it's really late and I woke him up. We also know he's the father because we true. only bred Hannah to him. That's a good point. Yes, we already know who the father is on yeah. this clutch. So the babies should be, they should be nice pretty and red. red. Yeah. yeah, and they should be nice beefy babies too yeah. with their with their lines or their genetics. So like Brad's baby and him. Yeah, he's big. Brad was big. Hannah's on her way, I'm sure. So yeah. these babies have, have big bull snake lines in them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's egg video. We're very excited for this clutch to hatch because I'm curious to see how red the babies are from the start so mm -hmm. i guess we just have to wait now about 55 to 60 days and see when they start pipping so thanks again for watching thank you as always to our amazing patreon backers your funds are gonna allow us to renovate that uh future incubator over there which will be in a different video that one right we now still it's just a, tape to yeah show up. we still have to wait for some supplies but that'll be a future video and we're gonna have an awesome incubator in the near future so thank you guys and we'll see you next time make sure you put your vote on who's gonna who's lay gonna next lay next please in the comments. let us know what you're bet is and we'll see who's right. <laughs>